Hello, this is V. Scott. I am actually Bernie McDougal, but I am going by V. Scott now. We will get into that later. This is my new channel. Um, I still have my old channel, which is, um, I think it's um, Poetic VMAC or VMAC. Anyway, but you can find it under Bernie McDougal. And um, I, was, I had uh, my poetry over there, uh, exercise journey, and just um, talking. This channel here is um, more along the lines of me talking, doing my poetry, no exercise or any of that, but it's just mostly me speaking. No exercise, any of that. <clears throat> so here we go. So today I am doing a news article um, and it's um, called, uh, it's about the... Um, the board board approved step in moving old miss um old mississippi confederate statue um so and uh, here is a piece of the article with the statue right here you see the statue right there and i'm gonna go ahead and read the article now uh, i may give some reactions um i may give some um of my opinion i'm not sure but i'm gonna go ahead and read through it so here we go and uh, the person that wrote this article is Emily Wag Wag Wagster Pettis, the Associated Press. So um, here we go. Jackson, Mississippi. A Confederate statue would be moved from a central spot on, un on the University of Mississippi's campus to a less prominent com Confederate cemetery under, under a proposal approved Friday by a state board. The cemetery, the cemetery is still on campus, but it is a place few people walk or drive. The vote Friday was by Mississippi Department of Ar Archives and History Trustees, who said the university's architecture, architecture, architectural, architectural, <laughs> architect, architectural, architectural, there we go and engineering plans meet U.S. Department of Interior Standards for Treatment of Historical Monuments. A separate board that governs Mississippi, Mississippi's eight public universities must also approve the plan to move the monument that boards next, that board, that board, ne that board next meeting is January 16th. For now, the marble soldier will continue to salute silently from the same prominent site where it, where it has stood since 1906 near the university's white columned main administration building. Old Mississippi Chancellor Glenn Boyce said in an email Friday that he appreciates the architects and engineers who worked on the plans and the trustees who gave the first step of approval. Leadership will keep you informed as the relocation process continues and will provide further updates moving forward. Boyce said in the email, faculty, staff, and students, the monument is one of many erected across the South. More than a century ago, critics say its display near the university's main administrative building sends a signal that the school glorifies the Confederacy and glosses over the South's history of slavery. Hmm. Pro-Confederate groups from outside the university rallied at the monument February 23rd, causing Ole Miss, Ole Miss basketball player to kneel during the national anthem in protest of the rally. Students, government leaders voted on March 5th to ask administration, administrators to move the monument to the cemetery where, the, where Confederate soldiers killed at Battle of Shala are buried. The University of Mississippi was founded in 1848 and the Confederate 
and the Confederate soldier statue was put up in 1906. The statue was rallying. The statue was a rallying point in 1962 for people who rioted to oppose court order integration of the university. Mm -mm -mm. The university has worked during the past two decades to distance itself from Confederate imagery, often amid, often amid resistance, resistance from tradition bound donors and alumni. The nickname for the athletic team remains the Rebels, but the university retired its colonel rebel mascot in night in 2003 amid criticism the the bearded old man looked like a plantation owner and they know they should have been they should have been got rid of that should have been got ri rid of that and also they should have been took this down they should have been took this this down this right here should have been down it's 2019 out here it's 2019 <clears throat> So let me get back to the story. In 1997, administrator banned sticks in the football stadium, which largely stopped people from waving Confederate battle flags. Why? Why would you bring that? Why would you bring that to a football game and wave that around? Why? The marching band no longer plays Dixie. Good. Because of a student-led effort, the university in 2015 stopped flying the Mississippi flag, the last state flag in the U.S. to prominently feature the Confederate battle emblem. emblem. Unbelievable. Since 2016, you... Since 2016, the university has installed plaques to provide historical t context about Confederate monument and about slaves who built some campus buildings before the Civil War. A plaque installed at the base of the Confederate statue says that such monuments were built across the South decades after the Civil War at a time that aging Confederate veterans were dying. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Slaves helped build up things. This build build up campuses, all this stuff. Help build more than that. But a lot of times we don't hear about it. They they've been trying to hide it, you know, like we didn't we didn't do anything. You know, no, that's not true. That's not true. And then some some people, some of the people went to wars, went to wars and, and didn't receive any recognition just because they were black. But let me, let me get back into this story. These monuments were often used to promote an ideology known as the Lost Cause, which claimed that Confederacy has been established to defend state rights and that slavery was not the principal cause of the Civil War. The plaque says, although the monument was created to honor sacrifice of to honor the sacrifice of Confederate soldiers, it must also remind us that the defeat of the Confederacy actually meant freedom for millions of people. So, um, first of all, it was supposed to mean freedom for us, black people. And second of all, our freedom didn't really come when it was supposed to come. Because when we were supposed to be freed, we were not free. Because when they say we were free, some people were still being enslaved up to two years after slavery was over was over you cannot cover this up you cannot cover this up no we said it was uh uh where where, where is it uh where, where is it civil rights war plaque says uh, 
Although the monument was created to honor sacrifice of Confederate soldiers. Yes, and black, black men also fought in that war as well. They did. They fought in that war as well and lost their lives. It's no honor for them. It was no honor for them. And then black men had fought in other wars and didn't get any honor. I, I remember um, last year I went home uh, for my birthday. I went back home to D.C. Um, D.C. But I was in in Maryland. I didn't stay in D.C. I was in so you, they call it the D.M.V. area now. But I, so anyway, long story short, um, I met a a war veteran. Um, he didn't know me. I didn't know him. He was being honored, and I went in. Me and my um, friend were going to check in the hotel. And um, so, so the the little old man, he I uh, was he started talking to me, called me over there, and I was like, "What in the world?" So I went over there and started talking to him, and he was a, a older man. And so then, uh, I guess that was either his daughter, his niece, I'm not sure. And she was saying, um, you you, she was asking like, "Did I know them or whatever?" I was like, "No." He just started talking to me. So then, she was telling me that he was being honored, like he was being honored after all those years that he didn't get honored for um whichever war he was in I can't remember and I just um it touched my it really like it touched me right here and I, I wanted to ask to go but <clears throat> I wasn't sure about you know how they would have felt about it but I would have loved to have been able to see him get his honor you know and I'm, I'm so happy that he finally did get his just due so um yeah this is um the story that I'm sharing today and I just want to thank you all for listening. If you have any comments on um, the story, please um, comment below. Um, like, and if you want to, subscribe. And I will be bringing you more stories. Thank you, and have a great one.